What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am super excited because we're going to be doing a full face of Five Below makeup. I love Five Below. Like, that is my place, okay? If you don't know what Five Below is, it's basically like a $5 store. So everything in the store is like $5 and below and they have really good stuff. Like I feel like better stuff than traditional dollar stores have and they have makeup. So I bought a full face of makeup from Five Below that we are going to be testing today. I'm so excited because I've actually had really good experiences like with dollar store makeup and stuff. So I'm hoping to have a good experience with Five Below. We shall see. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so first things first, we are going to be starting with the Smoke and Mirrors Long Lasting BB Cream. This is what it looks like. At My Five Below, this was like the main brand they had. It was the brand Smoke and Mirrors, and they also had a bunch of Wet n Wild stuff, so for some things that this brand didn't have, I got Wet n Wild, but I did want to get a ton of Wet n Wild stuff just because I've tried so many of their products, so it wouldn't really be any different. So I wanted to get brands that like you can't find all over at drugstores and stuff. So I have a lot of stuff from this brand, Smoke and Mirrors, which I've never seen anything about. Um, but yeah, this is the BB cream. It came in light to medium and then medium to dark. So I got light to medium. Hopefully it works. Let's see. So this is what it looks like. It says this will prime, conceal, brighten, hydrate, smooth and even skin tone, oil control, anti-shine, and boost healthy glow. So that is a lot of, um, claims there. But we're just gonna go and test her out. There's no, um, safety seal on this, which I feel like is a little weird. Normally there's like a little thing that you pull back, but that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna try it anyways. I'm gonna squeeze some out on my finger and apply it to my face. Ooh, it smells like a moisturizing lotion, so hopefully it's moisturizing, because that's what it smells like, like a hand cream or something. We are going to blend her out on her skin and see how she blends. It's blending out really easily, which is good. And this shade, I feel like for light medium, is pretty dark. Um, especially, I mean, they only had two shades, but if you have skin any lighter than mine, I don't think this is gonna work for you. Um, and I don't know if they have more shades in general, but at mine, there was the only two options, was light to medium and then medium to dark. I feel like this is also very, very orange, um, but I'm hoping with concealer and like powder and stuff, we can make it all work. I think we'll be able to, but I just feel like this is pretty dark and pretty orangey for light medium, like the lightest shade that they have. We're gonna make it work. It feels nice on my skin though, so that I'm not like mad about. It does feel hydrating and it actually looks pretty nice. It has a good coverage for a BB cream. So I can't complain about that. I'm just not the biggest fan of the color. But as far as the actual quality of the product goes, I don't think it's bad. Up next, I'm gonna be going in with the Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlighting and Concealing Pen. So from the Smoke and Mirrors brand, I didn't see a concealer, so I went with Wet n Wild for this um, from Five Below. I think this was $3. And the um, BB cream was, sorry I didn't tell you guys, $3 as well. So this is like one of those pens, so I'm just gonna crank it up. I feel like I've used this before actually. Um, I have no idea where it is though, so I just bought it again. Oh, oh my God, like a lot of oil just came like flying out of this, okay. I'll kind of put the oil on my hand, that's weird. Wow, a lot of oil, okay. And we're gonna hydrate my hand with the oil, I guess. And let's try and get some product out of this. All right, this is definitely kind of weird, but we're starting to get some product now, so we're gonna go in on our under eyes with this. Oh gosh. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Um, Wet n Wild has another concealer that is in, like it has like a doe foot, it's not like one of these crank ups, and I actually like that concealer. Uh, but they didn't have that one at the Five Below that I went to, but I believe it's the same price. It's like $3, so I feel like I would probably recommend that over this one. Because this one feels really greasy and oily, and I don't know if it's just because the product somehow settled weirdly, or if it's just because it's like older or something, which I hope isn't the case. <laughs> but we're going to leave it at that, <laughs> and I'm going to go in and blend this all out and see if I like it a bit better does blend out very easily which is nice and it does highlight and conceal because it definitely like brightens my under eye area I did get that in shade light um, I believe there's one shade that is lighter I'm gonna just kind of spread this out because I used a lot it's like around my t-zone all right so I actually don't mind this 
when it's all blended out it really doesn't look bad and it did kind of neutralize the orangeness of the foundation so I don't mind that I was kind of weirded out by how much oil was coming out of it but it didn't blend out horribly on my skin I do still think that I like the other wet and wild concealer better so if your five below has that I would probably get the one in the little tube with the doe foot applicator but this one isn't bad and it did do a good job of brightening my under eye area which I personally like so I'm not mad at it Alrighty, up next we're going to go ahead and set that and I'm going to be using, I'm sure you guys could probably guess it, the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. I actually bought a brand new one at Five Below while I was there. I love this for setting my under eye concealer and I like completely hit pan on the old one that I have. So I have a new fresh one to use today. So I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up. And this is actually in the section with like the bronzers, but on me it's more of like a highlighter. And it does have a little bit of glitter to it, but not too much. That's why it's completely fine for setting your under eyes. It's not like you're going to have glitter particles or anything under there. So I am just going to go in with this on my under eyes to set this concealer into place. This is like my fave, my fave, my fave. I think this was also $3 and well worth every cent because it's amazing. And I'm also going to bring this down the bridge of my nose and in these kind of center areas of my face. Alrighty, now for our brows, we are going to go in with one last Wet n Wild product, and I promise the rest of the products are from Smoke and Mirrors, because um, that's like what I'm most excited to try out. But this is the Wet n Wild just regular brow pencil in the shade Blonde. So let's just go in and quickly fill in our brows. This I think was only $2. So I'm just going to go in and spoolie my brows real quick. It's nice that this comes with a spoolie, because a lot of like cheaper brow pencils do not. But it is nice that it does come with this. You don't get that much product though, like you guys can see, it's a pretty small pencil, but it will do its job. Wow, and it's actually pretty dark for blonde, because a lot of times blonde eyebrow pencils are really, really light. This is pretty dark. And it definitely has a very waxy feeling to it, which is good, um, because that will help to keep your brows in place, but it is a little bit... Like it makes it a little bit more difficult to work with and kind of blend out naturally just because it's almost like sticky. Like I can feel it sticking to my brow hairs. But the one good thing about the waxy texture is again, it is gonna keep all of your brow hairs in place. They're not gonna be moving anywhere. It does kind of just look a little like a hair unnatural, but if you keep going in with like a spoolie, I think it actually really helps to kind of like break up the waxiness and make it look like that is your real hair. So as I apply, I just kind of go through with the spoolie. Alrighty, up next we're gonna go in with our eyes. And I actually got this cool palette. So this is from Smoke and Mirrors. This is only $5 and this is a face and an eye palette. So you get a highlight, a bronzer, a blush, and then you get three eyeshadows. So I thought that was really cool. So this is what we are going to be using today. Let me just open it up. For $5, I thought that was a really good deal. So let's just hope that it works well. So I'm first gonna go in with this base shade right here, and we are gonna work this into our crease as like a neutral kind of transition shade. You could put this all over if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna work it into my crease for right now. Just buffing it back and forth, and it seems to be blending pretty well, which is good, A plus for that. At Five Below, there's actually lots and lots of palettes. So if you're looking for a palette, like for me personally, I actually really prefer palettes um, for products. If I like face palettes, I like eye palettes, then rather than having like little individual products, it's just like a personal preference thing. But they were there was tons and tons of palettes there. So I would definitely check out Five Below. If you're looking for like affordable palettes, they would make great like Christmas gifts and stuff. They had ones that were just eyeshadow, just face, and then ones like this that were kind of both. So you can definitely check out your local five below if you wanna you wanna get some palettes. All right, so that was a pretty light color. I do have it in my crease. I am gonna go in and um, make it a bit darker with this lid color right here. This doesn't look that much darker, this color, honestly, but I'm hoping that it deepens it a bit at least. Yes, okay, it definitely does. And this is actually blending very nice as well. So just gonna kind of buff that in back and forth. And I'm gonna bring this down a little bit on my actual lid as well. Just kind of do like a wash, a light, light wash of color. I think we're gonna go in with a bit of a different color on there though. And then this last deepest shade, I wish 
it was a little bit different because this last deepest shade is like kind of a shimmery shade but it's very dark and it actually says crease in it like embossed in it so I am going to use this again on that outer corner and in the crease to deepen it up I wish that there was like a lighter shade that I could have used as an all over lid color but it actually says the center one to be used as lid um I think I'm going to go all over my lid with the highlight shade and then we'll also use that on our cheeks but I feel like that'll look better but I am going to go in with that deeper shade first on like a little flat top brush and use that in like my outer crease area and just kind of buff it in there. This shade is actually not that pigmented, which I was a little scared because it's dark, that it was gonna be really dark, but it doesn't show up that dark actually. So it does take a little working with, but when layering it up, it gets a bit better. And I'm gonna take that shade in on my lower lash line oh my god because of my concealer it's like transferring down so low on my lower lash line <laughs> oh my gosh this look is getting a little bit messy i'm not the biggest fan of this eyeshadow i'll be honest i actually like the eyeshadows that i tried from the dollar store better um than these but maybe the face products will work a little bit better but this is a little hard to work with and i think this just in combination with the concealer isn't a good mix i'm just going to try and blend this out as much as i can all right i'm going to go all over my lid with the highlight shade i am going to spritz my brush with some fix plus just so we can get maximum payoff from it it looks like a pretty golden shade and i'm just going to pop this on the lid oh my gosh okay <laughs> not getting that much payoff from this either I'm really sad. This isn't this isn't going as well as my dollar store ones, which I'm surprised because this makeup is like a bit more expensive. Like it is at a higher price point than the dollar store, but I feel like I got products that worked a little bit better from the dollar store, which I mean, I'm surprised about, but this is definitely still workable. It's not like it's bad. It's just, you gotta work a little bit more at it. So when you layer it up, this eyeshadow does show up. It just definitely does take take a little bit and again this is being applied wet already with fix plus and stuff so it doesn't look terrible but it's certainly not my favorite I am going to go in um, on my inner corner with this color as well just to brighten that up but not my fave that I will say I'm going to go in on my other eye with this as well the brush is like pretty much dry now and I actually feel like it might be applying it a little bit better um dry so maybe if you do get this palette don't use fix plus or like any water or wet brush and it might actually apply a little bit better dry it's a lighter like it looks more golden i think on this side but i feel like it looks a little bit better actually done dry which is interesting because normally like shimmery shades apply better when wet but i don't know it's kind of what i'm thinking all right, so eyeshadows weren't entirely amazing. We're going to keep on going. Um, I do have an eyeliner from Smoke and Mirrors as well. This was $2, and it's dual-ended, so let's check it out. Okay, so as you guys can see, on one side we have a black liner, and then on the other side we have a white liner. I actually like to use white liner in my waterline. I'm going to use the black side first um, just to do a small line on my upper lash line, and then we'll use the white in the waterline. So I'm just gonna go in with this. Normally on my upper lid, I would use like a liquid liner, but this is what they had. And it's working pretty well actually. So I don't mind this. It is a little bit of a thicker point, so you are gonna get a little bit of a thicker line, but that's okay. It is a little sticky, the formula, but that's not necessarily a bad thing with eyeliner because you want it to adhere to the eye and not move around. So it doesn't really bother me. It still is fine to apply. All right, then I'm gonna go on to the other side with the white and apply this into the waterline. The waterline can be tricky, so let's see. Oh! I'm pleasantly surprised. It's showing up in my waterline. So many like liners just don't show up in the waterline because it's such like a wet kind of area. But this shows up and it's actually really nice. So that's good. All right, so the eyeliner was pretty good. I did like this, and I think for $2, it's well worth the money. We're gonna move on now to mascara, also from the Smoke and Mirrors brand. This is the Lash Curling Mascara, and this is $3. All right, so we are gonna go in with this mascara now. It is a curved wand, so we're gonna go in 
and see how this bad boy performs. Seems to be more of like a lighter mascara. Like it's not doing too, too much for my lashes. But it's coating them and making them darker, obviously. <laughs> and it is a bit of a stickier formula, so that will help to keep the lashes curled and kind of up. Um, so I can see why this is called the curl mascara, but I don't feel like it's really adding much length or volume to my lashes But curl absolutely and that is what it says it's supposed to do So I'm not mad at that It is a little hard on the lower lashes just because this is a bigger wand to really get in there So you just have to be extra careful When kind of moving it around that you're not hitting everything with it all right, so that is with about three coats of mascara. Honestly, this isn't my favorite mascara. I will say that it did curl my lashes because of the stickier formula. It does pick up your lashes and kind of leave them there. So if you're looking for a mascara that's gonna curl your lashes, this wouldn't be a bad choice, but it didn't really like lengthen or volumize them at all. So not my favorite, but certainly not a bad product either. Um, we are gonna go ahead and finish up the face now. So I'm gonna jump back into this palette and I'm gonna first jump in with the bronzer. This is a matte bronzer. So I'm going to use this to kind of just contour out my cheeks. It is pretty light, but we are getting some pigment and some payoff, so I'm just going to kind of buff this in. Then I'm going to go in with a regular contour brush, which is a little more precise, and just contour the cheeks. I don't believe these palettes came in different shades. Like, it doesn't say anything on here um, about shade. So if your skin is any darker than mine, I'm not sure that that bronzer would really work for you, but I don't think it was terrible on me. Um, I am going to go in with the blush. Right now, and apply that to the cheeks. The blush is actually really nice. It reminds me like the color of NARS Orgasm. It looks very similar to that actually. And then last but not least, we will go in with the highlighter. I wasn't the biggest fan of this on my eyes, but sometimes maybe it'll look better on the cheeks. It's not bad actually. I mean, it's subtle, like it's not a blinding highlight by any means. I am getting a lot of fallout though, because I'm kind of digging my brush in there to get product. But if you actually like like a subtle highlight, you don't want anything blinding, it is pretty. It does offer like a nice little glow to the skin. I personally would like something that was a little more boom, like in your face, but I don't think that it's a bad um, highlight. I really don't. I just feel like in general with this whole palette, all the colors weren't super, super pigmented. And I feel like a lot of the products that I tried at the dollar store were more pigmented, but they were only a dollar like that. We're at a cheaper price point. So I was hoping that for $5, it was going to be a little bit better. Um, but I didn't really find that with this palette specifically. So I would say maybe save your money on this, go to Dollar Tree and get something from like LA Colors or something that's only a dollar. I know they have a lot of like 12 eyeshadow palettes and a couple of face palettes from LA Colors that are literally $1. And, um, Honestly, I feel like perform a bit better than this one did. Last but not least for our lips, we are going to be testing out the Smoke & Mirrors Lux in a Box Nude. So I thought this was pretty cool because this comes with a cream lip gloss, a matte lipstick, and then a metallic lip gloss. So you kind of get some options. Um, they have this in a variety of different shades. I got the nude box, but they had red. I think they had like a vampy kind of like purpley lip. So they do have some options. And this was $4, but you're getting three products. So I will first go in with the matte lipstick on my lips. Oh wow, it's actually very creamy. Like for a matte lipstick, it feels really, really creamy on my lips. That's nice. Does not feel drying. Ooh, it smells like cupcakes. I like that. This is actually really, really nice. Although I will say it doesn't feel matte at all. If anything, it feels like very creamy, but it feels really nice on my lips. I like the color and doesn't feel drying or anything. So I have no issues with this. I do like it. It's just not super matte. So if you're going to buy it in hopes that it's going to be super matte, I don't know. I would feel like at most it's like a demi matte. Um, and then we will go in with the cream lip gloss and I'll put a little bit of metallic like in the center of my lips. So we'll start with the cream. This almost feels like a liquid lipstick or something. Alright, so that is the lip gloss and then I will go in with a little bit of the metallic lip gloss just in the center of my lips. This is pretty. All right, I like this lip like little kit thing because these are really nice. This metallic lip gloss is beautiful. All right, 
Alright, so that is everything you guys. I feel like honestly overall I've actually found better products at the dollar store than Five Below, which is interesting again just because the dollar store is at a lower price point, but I feel like I did have better luck there. I will link my dollar store makeup tutorials down below, but by no means I don't think this was a fail. I did find some good products. Like I definitely think that this little like lip kit thing is definitely worth the $4. And obviously you guys know the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana is like a holy grail product of mine, so definitely of course love that. And I didn't actually mind the BB cream either. I actually think it looks pretty good on my skin and once I was able to add the concealer and the powder and stuff, it did neutralize kind of the oranginess of it. And I feel like it doesn't look bad on my skin. And for like $3, I think this was it's worth it uh, for sure. So we did find some good products, which I am happy about. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below. And definitely let me know any other stores that you want me to test makeup from. I was thinking of maybe doing like a testing forever 21 makeup coming up. Let me know your guys thoughts down below in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.